Well, welcome back to your daily wasp nest video. As you can see that the queen is working quite diligently on that small nest on top. And as you watch through this whole video, you'll see that it's spinning and it, you just wonder how in the world is that staying connected with the heavy winds and stuff. It's rotating all the time. I don't think it doesn't really rotate completely around but she's busy working on cells you'll see it a little bit later in the video one of the workers adding to one of the cells and there's if you look closely at each of those you can see there's an egg in each one of them and it may even be two there was two and a few of them at some point Oh, we're up to four, I could see four different workers. I've been trying to remove workers. Uh, I've removed four, I think, since I started doing the recording. Because if you get too many workers, uh, then they'll start getting aggressive. And then I wouldn't be able to record. And where the location of this nest is, it's right where I lift my garage door. So it's either kill a few of the workers and leave the nest live or take out the whole nest so I want to be able to get as much footage as I possibly can and leave the nest alive as long as possible so taking out a couple workers you know it might sound bad that they need to kill something but it's either that or the whole nest because it's just not in a good location I can't tell it almost looks like the queen's laying an egg at this time and still you can really see that that, that top comb is just spinning and spinning uh, you'll see in a few days um, the one of the videos I'll be releasing shortly uh, what happens to that little uh, piece of comb so be sure to keep up with your daily video uh, if you're not subscribed yet, do that right now if you could. Uh, that way you get your notifications if you hit that notification bell. Hit that like button just in case uh, there's somebody else out there that may enjoy watching the video. By hitting that like button, you increase the chances of the video being shown to more people. So I appreciate that very much. If you have any questions about the wasps or anything, uh, just let me know down in the comments. the black and white queen if you haven't seen any of the other ones she's actually a parasitic queen and uh, she doesn't do very much work you'll see that she's kind of pushy with the other with the workers and the other queen uh, demanding food all the time she will lay eggs uh, she never has any of workers of her own uh, you, as you can see all the workers are yellow and black uh, coming from that yellow and black queen uh, when it gets into the fall more, or late summer, she will be the one to lay a lot of the eggs. I noticed I have seen her laying eggs in that top comb. Uh, and those would be males and future queens, uh, because all the workers are female also. So uh, there would just be, future queens would be the size of the queen. And then next season's queen will be uh, there will be yellow and black queens also that she'll lay some male female eggs also male and female but the white and black queen will lay her own and that's how she continues her species uh, by con taking you know liberties in another nest and then her offspring will do the same thing that she's doing this year and I've been noticing this for quite a few years so I hope you enjoyed the video remember smash that like button and I will see you in tomorrow's